Hello Pisces, thank you so much for watching this video. This is a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm gonna be doing a you and them spread, so I'll be looking at you and your person. Um, let's get right into it for Pisces. All right, in regards to the person they are thinking about at this time. For Pisces. I'm using the Ojo Zen Tarot here as an oracle deck. I haven't even asked Spirit what I want. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? Okay. First card out is Past Lives. Okay, what else does Pisces need to know? regarding the person they are thinking about. For Pisces. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. The burden. What else for Pisces? So one of you in this connection feels burdened. And I feel like this is a past life type of connection, very strong. We got new vision. Can I get one more for Pisces? Participation. Interesting. New vision. So someone's seeing, um, and I've been getting this theme in a lot of the readings that I've been doing. Um, one of you in this connection are is looking at it with new eyes. Um, some of you are probably recognizing that there's a burden that's weighing on this connection, weighing heavy. Um, with participation, I always think a lot of people, I think either friends, family, other partners that somehow influence or affect this connection it's this literally is the card of like all of the hands are like right there's their hands in this photo if you can tell and all the hands are like in the cookie jar you know <laughs> so i feel like basically um, a group of people uh or even just one other person i feel is a burden to this connection so let's see, I wanna look at what other insight can you give me, Spirit, regarding the person that Pisces is thinking about at this time. This will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and do not try to make this reading fit. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. Spirit, give me some insight, please, into the person that Pisces is dealing with or thinking about at this time. For Pisces. For Pisces, please. Okay, we got hyena. So someone uses you um, uses humor to hide their true feelings. This is someone that jokes around about something that hurts them or affects them or they're serious about. Um, also someone that lacks confidence or has low self-esteem with hyena. So your person might lack confidence at this time. What else, spirit? Beaver, beautiful. The beaver is hardworking, uh, dedicated, family oriented. They provide for their families. Opposite of lazy with the beaver. Um, 
So that your person, I feel like, wants to be that for you. A beaver energy. Wants to provide a stable home. Um, wants to be a loyal partner. Is willing to work on this. What else? Oh, I got two. I got the elk and earthworm. So the elk is kind of like the king of pentacles. And earthworm is all about beginning anew, starting over, um, starting from the bottom. So your person might be wanting to start over from a clean slate. They also might not have the confidence to approach you, maybe because they don't have a lot of experience or um, they're not sure if they're at this level. The elk is very stable, grounded energy. Um, they tend to be already in a commitment or willing to commit. So let's get into it spirit messages for Pisces regarding the person they are thinking about. This is the Crow Tarot for Pisces, please. And I'm going to be doing um, a spread with you on one side and them on the other. Feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate more. I love this deck a lot. For Pisces. Regarding the person they are thinking about, spirit. Okay, so let's start with you, Pisces. What are your thoughts or feelings in this connection? What's going on with you in this connection? For Pisces, spirit. What's going on with Pisces? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Stability, security, commitment, financial success. This could be um, what you want or your goals or what you already have at this time. You could be in a commitment already, possibly with children. Does not have to be, but I, this card does feature two ch children in it. The star, Aquarius energy here with the star. Interesting, so far so good. Star is all about renewal, healing, faith, hope. What else for Pisces? Seven of Wands reversed. So your guard is down. Um, you don't feel like fighting for something here. You might be um, feeling um, like you lack courage or are not strong enough to deal with opposition here with the Seven of Wands reversed. It's kind of like you want to give up on something here. Tell me more for Pisces. I love this deck, but it's, it's pretty large. What else for? Okay. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Feeling like bad timing, bad luck. And Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. I feel like you're already in a commitment, Pisces, or are just very financially stable. Six of Swords at the bottom here. Queen of Pentacles feels like moving on to something more stable, more grounded.
I feel like whatever is feeling like it's unfortunate or bad luck or bad timing or it's just you can't catch a break, I feel like you're ready to give up. Like you're losing hope a little bit. Let's see. Let's look at your person. Tell me about Pisces person spirit. Tell me about Pisces person. The person that Pisces is thinking about. What are their thoughts or feelings in this connection? What are their thoughts or feelings in this connection? Seven of Pentacles. This is investment, growth, wondering if, you know, having doubts about something panning out here, growing, manifesting. Tell me more for the person that Pisces is thinking about. The full reverse. This is all about reckless risk, um, something that's too risky, someone that might be um, naive or unable to start a new beginning here, blocked from a new beginning. We'll clarify these further, but this is what I'm seeing so far. Tell me more for the person that Pisces is thinking or connecting with at this time. Thinking about or connecting with at this time. For Pisces, please. Nine of Swords. Anxiety, um, stress, sleepless nights. Something's worrying your person, bothering your person. I think it's the this um, full reverse energy. Either a risk that they're taking or have already taken in the past that was very risky, um, or the fact that they're blocked from a new beginning. Even though they've invested and put in time into something, now they're having doubts if something's ever gonna happen for them. Now, like I said, feel free to um, flip the roles if they resonate more because energy can be vice versa here. King of Pentacles, so we have a pair on the board. And you're both upright. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely your person. So what's going on between you two? What are the mutual energies here, Spirit, between Pisces and this person? What's going on here? Between Pisces and this person? The lovers reversed, a bad choice, the wrong choice, Gemini energy with the lovers, tell me more, what's going on in this connection? Ace of swords, truth, clarity, communication, victory. So either someone wants to have a wants to communicate or get clarity on a bad decision or a wrong choice in love. Tell me more what's happening here between Pisces and this person. One of you chose the wrong made the wrong choice. And you either want to cut it out with this ace of swords or you want to talk about it. Seven of Cups. There's confusion. Options here that someone's looking at. Daydreaming possibly. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Judgment reversed. Bad judgment call. 
So someone wasn't using their sound judgment or they weren't thinking uh, very clearly when they made a decision here. Could also be that someone is going through karma, a karmic situation, or still learning from karma. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. So this, this has caused a lot of pain, whatever decision this, this was. So let's get into it. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune reversed for Pisces. This is Wheel of Fortune reversed for Pisces. I'm going to clarify with the same deck because I just really love this deck. Page of Cups. So this could be that someone wants to apologize or express how they feel. Maybe you're wanting an apology for what didn't work out, or maybe it's just not the right time, but this is what you want, uh, someone to express how they feel towards you, or you express how you feel towards them. Two of Wands reversed. Someone needs to choose this or has already chosen to deliver this message. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles um, at the bottom here. So they're working on this. They're, they're feeling, they're putting in effort into this decision. I feel like it's this hyena slash beaver person. I feel like this is a burden this wheel of fortune reversed on one of you or this nine of swords is the burden up here okay tell me about this the star tell me about the star spirit queen of swords Queen of Swords is, they tend to be guarded because they've been through so much. They've been hurt one too many times. They're great at boundaries. Uh, they're very direct, honest, to the point. Very intelligent. I think you've been healing, Pisces. And I'm, I'm this is Pisces for me, um... And to avoid confusion, I'm just going to keep calling this side Pisces. But remember, you can flip it if you're watching. But Pisces, I think you are, you've, you've been hurt and you've been healing. And as you heal, you've really guarded yourself. And I feel like either you're starting to not feel so guarded, so defensive. Let's see. Seven of Wands reverse. What's this about? Wow, Eight of Pentacles. So you've been working on something too. Or you're the one working on this message. Tell me more for the Seven of Wands reverse. For some of you watching, this is a small number of you. You've been really focused on work and money and you haven't had a lot of time or you've kind of either you've been hurt and focused on just work and money and career because it's better to focus on that than love or what's going on with this wheel of fortune reverse tell me more for the seven of wands reverse six of swords again so you've been working on a transition plan. You've been working on moving somewhere. Um, you don't want to fight anymore. 
against something or, or a group of people. Um, you just want balance and stability now. So let's see about your person over here. Tell me about the nine. Tell me about the nine of swords. Why are, why are they so stressed and anxious? This they could feel guilty as well. Tell me about the nine of swords, please, for Pisces. Seven of swords reversed because they were caught doing something they shouldn't have been. They were caught avoiding a situation. Um, they were sneak trying to be sneaky. And I think in the midst of that, they hurt you or this this relationship. Tell me more for this Nine of Swords. They could have been deceptive, lying, or trying to take advantage of a situation, but they got caught. The world, a new cycle. This is what they want. Like they want a new chapter, a new beginning for themselves, for you and them possibly. Um, they want to communicate this with the Eight of Wands at the bottom. Um, but I get the sense that they are stressing about this. Tell me about the full reverse. What happened there with the full reverse? Six of Wands reverse. So they weren't successful in their new beginning here. Why? What happened here with the full reverse? Two of cups. Well, this has to do with a partnership here. Love. They weren't successful in starting a new beginning with you. Or they messed up. Three of Wands, this is waiting. They could be waiting for the right time. They probably were waiting too long or they probably missed the boat because the Three of Swords Reverse is someone that misses the boat. Tell me about the Lovers Reverse. What's this about for Pisces? I got two. The Tower, so something happened here. And the Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Hangman. This is that person that sees, has a new vision, new clarity. Someone has a new clarity about this tower moment, about what they truly want, what they should go after here. And it has to do with a bad choice in partner. What's this Ace of Swords about? I feel like that tower is like what makes everything shift. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Five of Swords reverse. So someone needs to communicate about this situation here where someone tried to take advantage of the situation or there was arguments or deception or someone played dirty. So, excuse me, if there's no communication about that, then there's just someone cutting that out. Getting clarity about this. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Someone here messed up bad. Hangman. Yeah, like someone's seen this whole situation clearly. From a new angle, from with new eyes. Um, and again with the Three of Wands. Tell me about this Judgment Reverse. What's this judgment reversed about? What's judgment reversed about? Page of Swords reverse. Definitely deception. 
Didn't you have a reading recently about lying? Or someone keeping something from you? Judgment reverse, please. The Empress. Someone lied to an Empress energy. Yeah, someone they're attached to. Yikes. So I feel like your person, Pisces, really screwed up. And they are stressing about it. They feel like they're not going to be able to have a second chance or, or, or a new beginning because of what they've done. Uh, maybe it, it was too much for you. Uh, they, they were not successful and it's because they weren't playing fair. They were, there's some sort of deception here in, be, in, in your connection. Some sort of deception. Oops, sorry. I don't mean to hit the tripod, but it's right there. And, and it's caused someone to make a really bad choice, a really bad, there was a really bad judgment call made here. Because someone decided to lie rather than do things right. The Seven of Cups is reminding me of this four of uh, this four of fire participation here, um, because I feel like there's too many things going on that's causing confusion here. And a tower moment is going to allow someone to see things clearly. This is an unexpected shakeup, a, a surprise. Something you don't see coming. This could have already happened or is currently happening or, or it can happen in the future here. And I feel like, you know, it's like it's, it's a shame because someone has good intentions here except for this hyena. This hyena is not, is very, um, can't be trusted. You know, I feel like this could have had, this could have been a ten of pentacles, a two of cups. But I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing a mess. You know, I'm seeing you healing, um, you wanting to, to you know, being emotionally shut off here. You needing to make a choice. What you're going, what are you going to do? Are you going to accept an apology? You know, are you going to move on? If you're working on that. You're working on balance and stability. And I feel like your person, I, I think they're upright because they know they screwed up. They're, and it's this person, this King of Pentacles, this is not someone, for those of you watching that are thinking of your person, this is not someone who does not, like cannot admit that they screwed up. This is someone that admits full responsibility, okay? This is, this is someone who understands that they were at fault. So if you're dealing with someone that can't admit that this isn't for you, I want to make that very clear because this King of Pentacles is upright. All the people here are upright. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Empress, and King of Pentacles are upright, which tells me they're very balanced, mature energies, okay? Otherwise, Pisces, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading resonated with most of you. Um, if it did, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Thank you again to all of you that have liked, subscribed, commented, or just participate in the channel and the extendeds. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.